Welcome everyone to Courier Prep Football Weekly. It's now the semifinal round of the state playoffs and Bartlett is still alive. Alongside Eric Jacobson, I'm Andy Rohr. Yeah, we got a great matchup this week, uh, a pair of unbeatens between uh, state powerhouse, traditional powerhouse Main South and the up-to-date conference champion Bartlett Hawks. Uh, you know, Bartlett's still alive here. Look, it looks like a great game. Mirror images between these two teams should be, a, should be a fantastic contest Saturday night out at Millennium Field in Streamwood. And we spoke with both teams about the game. It wasn't easy, but the Bartlett Hawks are in the Class 8A semifinals, surviving a late Schaumburg rally and winning 38-35 last week. There's a little breakdown in special teams, maybe, you know, but uh, other than that, we're, we're, we're playing solid. Uh, uh, we gave too many opportunities to the offense in the second half last week. Uh, defense is on the field way too much, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll do better this week. With seven seconds left, kicker Dan Karras gave them the lead for good. Yes, it's definitely, I, I practice, I stay after Tuesdays, normally stay after to kick extra. I do a lot of work with it. So Now fellow unbeaten Maine South awaits. Well, Maine South being ranked number one all, almost all year, is, uh, it's quite a challenge, but uh, our kids are up for the challenge and we're excited about being where we're at and uh, giving the opportunity to, to represent Upstate 8 and uh, in the conference downstate if we can, if we can pull off a, a good win against uh, Maine South. Working hard and we know they're a good team and it's just the matchup you'd want to see. Our defense will come to play. I mean, it just... Uh, uh, they have a heck of a lot of athletes. We just got a lot of people to stop in their team. But uh, uh, I think our kids are off the challenge, and they've been studying a lot of film, and, and hopefully made a lot of judgments, and we'll be okay. Oh, yeah, we're definitely uh, a little worried about their offense, but we got a game plan, and we'll see how it works. Barlett carries in the number one seed, but Coach Dave and Sarah's main south squad is red hot, and coming after beating Barrington last week, 42 to nothing. I would say they've had one track mind in terms of uh, – you know, getting uh, getting state championship, and uh, you know, last year I think it left a left a bitter taste in our mouths that you know we, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals, and we have high expectations, and the kids have high, high expectations. South's offense has averaged a whopping 47.2 points per game. I mean, we have high expectations, so it's uh, we are explosive, and we know that. But uh, you know, we're we're not going to rest on what we've done on the last play. We're always looking to get better on the next play. Now the two 12-0 teams will square off on Saturday night. Now number one against number two uh, in terms of the seeding, and uh, you know that's what the IHSA I think wants. And uh, two undefeated teams, you you, you got to love that. Um, just makes the game mean that much more. All right, there you go. It's going to be a very exciting game. Obviously, a couple of unbeatens, uh, you know, kind of did different things last week. Maine South, they kind of had their had their way with Barrington, so to speak, forty-two to nothing. They they drubbed them. Meanwhile, Bartlett, they were initially drubbing Schaumburg, but they had to hold on for a thirty-eight thirty-five win. Uh, let's talk right now, kind of defense versus offense, strength against strength. Maine South's offense, Bartlett's defense. Where do you see that one working out? Yeah, certainly. I you know both teams are solid on both sides of the ball, but I think these are the strong suits for the two teams. Let's look at Maine South's offense. Uh, unbelievable this season. They're putting up forty-seven point two points a game on average. I mean, they've gone over fifty a number of times. This offense is explosive. It has been all season long, and it starts with quarterback Charlie Goro. Uh, he's got a scholarship to go play at Vanderbilt, so look for him on, uh, on CBS in years to come. He'll be playing in the SEC. Uh, he's thrown 37 touchdown passes, three-year varsity standout. He's the guy who makes the offense go, but he's got a lot of other uh, important weapons around him. His receiver uh, Joey Orlando and, and uh, fellow receiver Sam Schwarzinski are also two main guys that uh, at Goro can get the ball to, and uh, they, they like to throw the ball. They're a pass-first kind of team, but they also have a good running game. Uh, Matt Perez uh, comes out of the backfield. He can catch the ball, run the ball. So just an all-around explosive offense. Uh, it doesn't have to say much more than 47.2 points per game. You, you just don't see that very often, and that's why the Hawks have been up at the top all season long. On the other side of the ball, Bartlett, that's the string. Defense right. is why the Hawks are here. So, uh, you know, Bar Bartlett, 13.3 uh, points per game they're allowing this season. So really, you know, something's got to give here. Yeah, the team's yeah. averaging 15, another giving up 10. I mean, so somebody's going to have to win out here. Um, Expect to meet somewhere in the middle, I'd say. We'll see. But uh, and it all starts for Bartlett on defense with uh, Upstate Conference Defensive Player of the Year, Kyle Zelinski. He's a, he's a stud, a middle linebacker, and he's a guy that uh, you know kind of handles everything out there. He's got a really solid core of linebackers around him. All those linebackers uh, are, are key players for Bartlett. Uh, they also have a couple all conference players, and uh, Matt Paladino and Kyle Kirchhoff up at the line, and uh, David Palmer in the defensive backfield. So uh, you know this is that that's going to be an impressive matchup. That'll be fun to watch all night. The uh, Main South offense and the Bartlett defense seems to be on both sides of the ball. Neither team maybe has seen kind of the, that, that coming at them. 
Uh, but let's switch it up. Let's go to the other side of the ball for both clubs. Uh, Bartlett's offense taking on Maine South's defense. Yeah, well, and when I say mere images of the teams, uh, you know, I said that earlier, that it's certainly the case because, you know, really Maine South's got a great defense and Bartlett's has a, has, has a real solid offense. And, uh, you know, Bartlett's offense starts with quarterback uh, Josh Hassenberg, two-year uh, varsity starter, some for over 4,000 yards the past two years. Uh, real smart player. He knows how to take care of the ball. Um, you know, he he, he kind of makes everything go on that offense, and uh, just like Maine South, it's kind of a pass-first offense, or they, not a pass-first, but they, they, they can throw the ball with ease. Uh, he's got two good receivers, just like Maine South, and uh, Corey Brown and Alex Van Ness. Um, running back Fabian Labrari is, uh, is another, and, and Corleone Richardson, kind of a two-headed monster out of the backfield for Bartlett. Uh, a couple key guys. So Bartlett putting up almost 30 points a game for the season. Uh, they certainly can score. I mean, not quite 47 points, but uh, not bad. And then on the other side for Maine South, uh, Maine South's deep. We talk all about the offense. Well, the defense has only given up 11.9 uh, points a game. So, I mean, that, that just goes to show you how dominant the Hawks have yeah. been this season. And, and, uh, and that, you know, the Central Suburban uh, Conference South champions for, I think, the eighth straight year. Wow. Not bad. I mean, they're, they're a traditional powerhouse. Uh, in the state playoffs, uh, you know, 16th straight year. Coach uh, Dave and Sarah, uh, eight years he's coached, six years he's taken a team to the quarterfinals. So uh, these guys are used to it, and yeah. it starts with defense. That's, that's the base for this team all the way through, and this year they just happen to have an unbelievable offense. But uh, Zach Tim leads the way on defense for Maine South, uh, Central Suburban Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Kobe, uh, Corby Ryan, I'm sorry, linebacker, is a, uh, is a standout. And also got to look at uh, Schwarzinski and Orlando. Those receivers come over and are, okay. are rock-solid cornerbacks from wow. Maine South. Uh, and they can really uh, jam up some receivers. So really, that's going to be another interesting matchup. Should be just uh, you know, I, both sides of the ball. Both teams are strong. Should be interesting to see what happens. All right. So if both teams uh, want to end up in the state final. What's going to have to go right from? What are some important keys? Let's start off with Maine South. Yeah, you know, I think for Maine South, it's just pretty much uh, remember what got you here. These guys uh, have been thinking about winning the state championship all season. They lost in the quarters last year. It's very disappointing. A lot of these star players are back. They want it bad. Uh, and so don't don't get caught up in the moment. You're playing a fellow unbeaten team, but Maine South just has to continue what it's done all season. Score 50 points a game, whatever it takes. I mean, they've done it all year. That's simple. Just, exactly. But it, it, you, the competition gets tougher every week, but they seem to have been able to answer the bell. Right. I think it, it's just a matter of them coming out and uh, taking care of their business, and uh, I think that's got to be the focus for Maine South. All right, then keys for Bartlett. Well, Bartlett's another team since week one has been uh, talking about yeah. uh, winning the state championship. So they, they certainly are confident. This is a confident bunch, and I, I expect them to come out and uh, be ready to go. Keys, though, let, let's break down what's happened to Bartlett the last couple of weeks. Great starts. They haven't given up a point in the first half since I think week seven or eight. I mean, it's been a couple weeks since they've uh, even been touched in the first half. The second half has been a little has been a little struggle, though. They've had to kind of hang on. Last week they built a huge lead and blew it, and then they hung on for the last second win. They, you got to look for the same good start, which I expect, because Bartlett's been able to do that, but they also have to be able to finish a little bit. they got, they got to close it out. Uh, another thing is special teams. Bartlett struggled on special teams last week, uh, you know, couldn't recover some onside kicks and uh, some kick return stuff, and that'll, that'll catch up with you, as it eventually did last week. Sure. And, uh, and going against a team like Maine South, that certainly can happen. Um, so, uh, but, but again, Bartlett, uh, same kind of mentality. Just one week at a time, that's been the business-like attitude, and uh, focus on uh, you know, finishing and uh, better special teams. All right. And Eric, here we go. The moment we've all been the waiting moment for. The moment you've all been waiting for. Eric, who's your pick for this game? Winner goes to the state final. All right. For the right to go to Champaign next Saturday night, here we go. Um, I've uh, said all year, and I can't, I can't really back down at this point. Every week I said, until somebody knocks off Bartlett, i got to go with Bartlett. So I'm picking the Hawks. Man of his word. Exactly. Man of my word. Uh, nobody's beaten them yet, and so uh, that just gives me that confidence. But let me, let me just uh, uh, say that uh, this is probably – I have the most doubts about this game <laughs> than I have any other game. This is going to sure. be the toughest test for Bartlett. And they've had a number along the way. They had to play an unbeaten Thornton team. They all, every playoff game has been tough. Uh, yeah. Had a tough test out at Nikwa, you know, Glenbard. All, all through the season, Bartlett's had tough tests, but uh, nothing will quite match the one that they're going to have uh, Saturday. They're at home. That helps. It's yeah. nice. But um, and, and Bartlett's just got the mindset all season long. They find a way to win. But so has Maine South. So that makes this a tough pick. But uh, I'm sick with the Hawks. I've said I've said all along. I, I can't. The Bartlett Hawks. Sorry, we got two Hawks <laughs> playing here tonight, uh, or Saturday night. But uh, I'm sticking with Bartlett, and uh, but expect a dynamite game. And, um, you know, the winner of this game, uh, you know, goes on to play the Mount, uh, Mount Carmel and Hinsdale Central. That's right. Two very worthy teams, but um, I think when you have a pair of unbeaten squads like, uh, like we have in this game, uh, you kind of look at this one as the winner is going to be the favorite going down Definitely. Champagne. Definitely. But uh, Mount Carmel and Hinsdale Central probably have something to say that about that uh, <laughs> coming up. I, I, those are two real solid teams, too. Yeah. So, the state semifinals, what do you expect? What do you expect? There you yeah. go. Well, there you have it. It's going to be obviously a very exciting game on Saturday night at Millennium Field. Be sure to check out the Courier News on Friday and 
and Saturday for game features and previews. And then on Sunday, be sure to take a look at the game recap in the Courier News as well. Yeah, you know, and uh, all weekend, uh, you know, check out the All Around Etown blog for updates and uh, the Courier website uh, as we'll be getting our uh, stories up on the web. And if you want to check out the action there, and um, also, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have, uh, I believe we're, this, this game's going to be televised live on uh, WPWR in the Chicago area. So if you want to tune in, check it out there. But if you can't get out there, if you're at the game and you want to check out some highlights, uh, Andy puts together a fantastic uh, <laughs> highlight package every week. So uh, check that out uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Um, and uh, that, you know, just uh, follow along. It should be exciting. Very, very much so. So for Eric Jacobson, I'm Andy Rohr. So long, everybody. <laughs>